Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty and today I am at the Fabric Place basement in Natick, Mass. There is another one of these in Alexandria, Virginia, but online it says they do not have yarn. It's a basement, so you walk in and the first thing you see is yarn. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. This is the clearance area. So, there is definitely a higher end selection here. So that ticket means 30% off. It's very pretty. Definitely my color palette with the blues and greens. <clears throat> Please like, share, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group. I talk about all my steals, deals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. Debbie Bliss Eco Baby. This is very soft. But there wasn't a lot of yards on it. Some of the yarn in here was a little jacked up. <laughs> for lack of a better term. Just proves why I really do not like donuts. My least favorite yarn shape. This is interesting. It's kind of like a novelty, like not really a roving yarn, but it's got like these thicker parts. I don't know, I consider it more of a novelty than a roving. Oh, who doesn't love tape yarn? Clearly lots of people, because this is only $3. This was pretty, but it wasn't on sale because I went and asked up front. Durr. But yeah, this place had great customer service. Everybody was very, very nice. So sad that wasn't on clearance. So all of these on this shelf were three bucks, all these different tape yarn scenarios here. Oh, wait, maybe this one wasn't $3. I don't remember. Du, du, du. Tape yarn. What do you guys use tape yarn for? Let me know down in the comments below. Ooh. They had some brands that I hadn't seen in person before, which was nice. That was awful shiny and awfully not on clearance. <laughs> But yeah, everybody here had great customer service. And, oh, that was chain spun. Really, really light. Verico. This was in my haul I just recently filmed from the recycling center. This exact yarn. For a dollar a ball. Woohoo! In my haul. Very, very pretty, that is. I like the colors. Trendsetter yarns. I've seen them before. That's a nice chain spun yarn. Summit. Hmm. Wool and acrylic blend. Very nice. Ooh, I like that one more. If they had had more of this, I would have gotten it, but there was like only a few balls of each. But I do love the purples. I love, love, love purple. We got here phoenix print from trendsetter yarns viscose and cotton this was interesting looking i thought that would make a really awesome texture but again they only had like a couple balls very pretty on that 60 percent cotton i do like yarns that are marled or have a color change Made in Italy. What else we got down here? Just make sure you lean down and look at the bottom. Oh, what is that? No, thank you. Ooh, this is nice. 
Oh, no clearance. Tag. This was not on clearance. This was really nice. Taki Yarns. 52 wool, 48. But it was only one. So I put it back. Wah, wah. Bamtastic. Bamboo Rayon and Nylon by Plymouth Yarns. There was a bunch of this, but honestly, I just wasn't feeling this color. Cool Mint is not really one of my favorite colors. It's pretty, but I was kind of underwhelmed. But I do like Plymouth Yarns. They're generally a very um, reasonably priced brand that is in a local yarn stores. Although this was about an hour from my house. Uh, they also had a humongous, ooh, 55% cotton, 45% acrylic. Hmm. Oh, boucle. Trendsetter Yarns Jelly Bean. Oh, it's got glitter too. Ooh, look, it's boucle and regular acrylic. Okay, I would have liked this if it was in a different color. More tape yarn. No tag on it though. Pima Cotton, very nice. 70% linen, 30% Pima Cotton. Ooh. There was a bunch of it, makes me think this just went on Clarence. On the nice purple and pink there. My daughter would like that. I ended up choosing something else for her and my son though. This reminds me of Rigoletto, but with the sparkles. Starstruck. What do you guys use this for? I had to be a little bit smart about my novelty yarn shopping lately. I have to ask myself, what realistically can I use this for? This yarn makes me think of wrapping. Like a present. Hmm. Ooh, another pretty color in Pinolino. I like that one. Kind of wish they had had more of that colorway, though. I like the sparkles. Ooh. This was very nice. Only one of them, though, and no clearance tag. Hmm. Had a weird feeling, though. It's probably all the linen. Some mini skeins here. Very, very pretty. Two, three, four. Oof. 30% off 28. A little bit too steep for me. It's supposed to be sock yarn, I think. There was two of them. I did like the twist on that yarn. Ooh. This Barrico yarn I got on my trip to uh, North Northampton Wools on clearance. Ooh. This is really pretty. But again, there's only one of them. 20% kid mohair hair on that one. See the halo? So pretty. And the sparkles. Ooh, that's nice too. Well, I like that it's white. But, again, I don't know what I'd use it for. And more tape yarn. I think this store has realized that tape yarn is not popular. Well, <laughs> oh, this is still in a package. Trendsetter... Not sure. Transcend or whatever that is. Not the same, but the same kind of yarn. Come back. Ooh, look, more tape yarn. Okay, this was interesting. There was a bunch of it, it was $3 a piece. I literally put this in and out of my basket like five times. I don't know. I didn't end up getting it. I wasn't really sure what I would make with it. What would you guys make with this stuff? I mean, there's only like 30 something yards in each one and I think there was seven, six of this blue and one of that off-white. I don't know. I felt for the yardage, I couldn't really justify it when I could just get another one, like regular price <clears throat> for like the same amount. It's just me. And there was this huge stack of patterns. 
that were on clearance also. And let me tell you, I dug through that whole stack and found two crochet patterns. I had my usual spiel at the cash shop register of, why do you not have more crochet patterns? Crocheters use more yarn, you should like us. <laughs> Everybody always gets a good laugh out of that comment. So yeah, I'll definitely be going back here. Um, I also found some other craft gems, locally owned businesses, um, that I will be posting the videos about this week. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a creative day. Bye-bye.